So hello everybody and happy Monday. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can import multiple Excel files from SharePoint to Power BI in a very easy way. Okay, so what we have here is uh, SharePoint Online, the one that comes with uh, Office 365 licenses, but you can do it with a normal SharePoint too. So I have only one Excel file, but we will be adding more. Okay, so this is how the Excel file looks. Nothing weird, I just have some data and two sheets. And we want to have the sheet from the tab called data, not from both, okay? And then when we continue adding files to SharePoint, we want Power BI to clean those two as they come along, okay? So this is what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to copy the URL for the SharePoint file, we're going to need that. Open Power BI, and we're going to go here to get data more and if you are using the normal SharePoint, you know, the on-prem SharePoint, you use the SharePoint folder. But if you're using the SharePoint online, you will use SharePoint online list. You will do the same thing on both, so just follow along. We're going to paste. Now, be careful to clean the URL that you paste. If you leave it to the um, folder, because we are using SharePoint online list connector, you're going to get an error. I'll, I'll show you so in case you miss it, you see, you're going to get this. What you need to do is to go back and to just point to the URL of SharePoint. Okay, so it will read all the contents of your SharePoint site. Depending on how big your SharePoint site might take longer. So there we are going to grab our demo SharePoint, transform data, and uh, let's go up here. Um, from here, we're going to go all the way to the source because we need to change this from tables to files, like that, to files. And then this is the one that we want to get. We're going to click on binary. That's the Excel file that we want to clean. There we have it. And now the two sheets come up. We just want one of them. So we're going to click on data. So we just grab the data one. And then we're going to click on that table. Okay. And suddenly we have the contents of the file. You can do any additional cleaning that you want to this. Let's say that we want to remove all the columns and we want just to keep uh, the first three so you see the, what's going on. So we keep the first three. Here you can do any normal cleaning that you like. Oh no, remove keep, I meant. Just keep top rows, three rows. Let's remove that one. Okay, so now we have the table with three rows from data. We're going to duplicate this table. I'll show you in a second why. And then we're going to go back to our original table and we're going to create a function for this. A function is basically a piece of code that we can reuse somewhere else. So we want to reduce the, this cleaning code into every single file we load into SharePoint. To do that, let's give this a better name, function Excel. sample, for example. So this was our sample file to create our function. We are then going to go to the advanced editor. And what we need to do with this piece of code is saying is go to this SharePoint site and then grab here this file. And that file, we don't want to hard code. We want to have it as a variable so we can fit in any file name we want. So instead of having hard coded, we want to just create a variable called file name, and then we want to have a function, create a function with it. So have that variable being called every time. So here we write file name and then as text. Okay, done. And this will create a function. Great. Okay. Now let's go back here, but we go up to the um, 
to the source. And what we want to do now is to go in here and pick the folder that is called demo SharePoint. There we have it. So this is where our all our new files are going to come in. This is, let me show you. So this is, you see the, the SharePoint library is called demo SharePoint. So this is the one I pick it. So say, okay, go and grab only that because if you have a big SharePoint site, you know, it's going to get hairy otherwise. So let's go back to Power BI. There we have it. And then it's going to pick any file that is in there. All these steps we don't need, so delete until end. And now we have, let's refresh this because there should be only one file, as you can see here. So it shouldn't be two files in there. I don't know what it should. Okay, so now we have only one file. Awesome. And now what we're going to do is feed this name into the function that we created, okay? And when we drop new files, the new names will come in here and the function that we created will clean them all. How do we do that? We go here to add column, invoke custom function. That's the only function that we have. And then the column name is this one, right? That's the one that contains the file name that we created a variable for. So we put it in there. And now we have here the table clean. If you click it outside of the cell, you see that this is our table. What we're going to do is right click, remove all of this stuff. We don't need that anymore. And then open. It's doing the cleaning. Okay. And then we should get the three rows that we had. Okay. So here we have them. Now, what happens if we add a new file into SharePoint? So I'm going to just drag and drop. Here we have a second file. So let's go and see what does that. If we go up here and I refresh, you're going to see that the second file is going to show up. You'll see it in a second. So now we have two files, two different, make sure that the file names are different, two different file names. And now we invoke. When we invoke, we're going to get two tables. And when we expand, we get the two columns. So this is very, very easy, isn't it? So this is how you import multiple Excel files from SharePoint into Power BI using a function that allows you to specify how those files should be cleaned, basically. This is very, very useful. Okay, so this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again on Wednesday with another Power BI video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.